Vincent van Gogh was born in 1853 in a village in the south of the Netherlands. He was born into the middle class and he spent his early adulthood working for a firm of art dealers. In 1885, he completed his first major work of art, The Potato Eaters. He was a post-impressionist artist and painted mostly portraits, self-portraits, landscapes, and still lifes of cypresses, wheat fields, and sunflowers. In just one decade, he produced over 2,000 works of art, including 1,000 oil paintings and over 1,000 watercolors, sketches, drawings, and prints. One of Van Gogh's most famous works, The Portrait of Dr. Gachet, was painted of his doctor and friend, Dr. Paul Gachet. He was born in Lille, France in 1828 and studied medicine in Paris and Montpellier. Then he moved back to Paris in 1858 to practice as a doctor. Gachet then moved to Auvergne-Geroise in 1872 and befriended many different painters like Cézanne, Daubigny, Guillaume, and Pissarro. He also became a painter and signed his works with P. Van Rissel. The painting itself is quite melancholy. The colors are dark and oppressive, and Gachet seems depressed with his head resting on his hand. Van Gogh also said that Gachet's facial expressions was quite grief-hardened. The novels stacked under the table next to Gachet's arm are quite dismal in context. One is about a servant who lived a depraved life and died miserably in the workhouse. The other is about the lives of several unsuccessful painters. Why was Gachet melancholic? There were some theories of why Van Gogh portrayed Gachet as very melancholy. It could have been endogenous depression, a symptom of physical illness, or Addison's disease. A contemporary photo of Gachet shows a fuller face than Van Gogh portrayed in the painting, showing how Van Gogh's art was impressionistic, not realistic. It almost seems like Gachet in the painting looks more like Van Gogh, or Van Gogh's brother Theo, than himself, which could be explained by how Gachet asked Van Gogh to complete the painting in the style of his self-portraits. This is one of Van Gogh's most famous paintings because it was painted in the last few months of his life while he was in a mental home, and it was of his physicist, Dr. Gachet. He used oil paint on canvas to create this painting. There are two different versions of this painting. The original painting was the first given to Van Gogh's sister-in-law, where she sold it for 300 francs, and the second version was for Dr. Gachet to keep for himself. This is its story! Van Gogh's sister-in-law, Joanna, received the portrait of Dr. Gachet in Amsterdam after Vincent Van Gogh and her husband, Theo, died. Joanna, in turn, meets Ambroise Ballard, a French art dealer who sells the painting to Alice Rubin, a wealthy Danish art collector, for 300 francs in 1897. As the painting was passed around through several unknown people, a man by the name of George Swarzenski, director of Frankfurt's Stadelsches Kunstinstitut, bought the portrait for roughly $3,900. I wanted this painting in order to advance my quiet, revolutionary plan to bring modern art to Frankfurt. Swarzynski believed Van Gogh's painting was a masterpiece and that it should be hung with other famous artists such as Arechba Durer, Hans Albin, Roger van der Weinden, and Rembrandt. When the Nazis took over Germany, they declared Van Gogh a degenerate artist. Instead of stealing a painting from a private collector, the Nazis confiscated the portrait of Dr. Gachet from the Stadel Museum in Frankfurt, Germany in 1937. Nazi leader Hermann Goering realized the value of the painting and decided to sell it to make a profit. A German collector purchased the painting and then quickly sold it to a Jewish financer named Siegfried Komarski for $53,000. Kowarski fled to escape the Holocaust and ended up in New York in 1938 with his family and the painting. The portrait hung in their apartment until 1984 until Kowarski loaned the painting to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. In the 90s, inflated art prices and tax codes discouraged art collectors from giving their art to museums, but also encouraged Kowarski's heirs to sell the portrait of Dr. Gachet to a Japanese businessman, Ryui Saito. 
Saito was arrested, and when they took his property, the painting was never found. Van Gogh once said, his art was based off of Japanese art. So in a way, the painting came full circle, ending in the hands of a Japanese businessman, even though the painting is still lost to this day. Master of the house, doling out the charm, ready with a handshake and an open palm. Tells a saucy tale, makes a little stir. Customers appreciate the bon vivant. Glad to do a friend a favor. Doesn't cost me to be nice. But nothing gets you nothing, everything has got a little. <laughs> so sorry. This is so awkward. He said to keep for himself. Don't stop from oh, oh, I, I stopped. Okay, wait. Oh, <laughs> We're Everybody loves a landlord. Everybody hey. loves a friend. I do the place is me. Oh my god, so oh my god. <laughs> Off of a Japanese art. That just makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Go. <laughs> Liver off a cat, filling up the sausages with this and that. Presents are welcome. Right, the sweet is occupied. Grass in my shoe. <laughs> that was embarrassing. That was funny. Hello, <laughs> 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 <laughs>